Why does wind turbines have three blades? Traditional windmills have four blades. Some fans have five blades. Other fans even two blades. So why does most wind turbine run on three blades? Let's find out in this video. Let's start with one. With only one blade, there isn't much balance. And because of that, it is hard to start spinning. To break the resting inertia is super tough in this one. It's like getting a kid to get out of bed. So you need to break the inertia first to get the blade to start spinning and generate electricity. That is a lot of wasted opportunity. Mainly for this opportunity loss, single blade wind turbines are not mainstream. So let's look at double blades. More blades means you get to capture more wind and higher conversion rate efficiency. But the thing with dual blades is that there's a strong equilibrium point where if the wind stops, the position of the blades will naturally fall into this point and you will need a very high activating energy to overcome this inertia and to get it moving from rest position. So we have the one, the chosen one, the special one, three. Three blades. Three for me and two for them. Respect. Respect. The three blades would cover and capture even more wind than two blades. And on top of that, it doesn't have a typical rest position, meaning it can spring into action at any time, always eager to move and always ready to spin. So how about four blades? Some fans have four blades, even traditional windmills uses four blades. While it is true that four blades will capture more wind compared to the three blades, having more blades on the turbine actually causes air friction and drag. Which is why at the low speed, the turbine with more blades perform better as they capture more wind. Basically, less wind is slipped past between the gaps and more wind is just captured by the blades. But the thing is, they fall off quicker for high speed situations because at high speed, air friction and drag becomes more impactful. In other aspects, three blades have a smaller resting inertia compared to having four blades. Four blades is easier to find a balance point where the turbine will have a harder time to move from rest position. Also, it's also the cost. More blades means more material and more work to assemble them. So, if you want to just capture as much energy or as much wind as possible, Going for max amount of blades is the way to go. Efficiency in this context is no longer about how much energy per blade can be harvested. It's about how much energy can be harvested from this and have as little losses as possible. But if you're looking for efficiency per blade, free is the way to go. Also, wind turbines are like hard to transport to places and they are very hard to recycle. Go green! You're watching the Funsi channel. Doot, doot.